Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So, viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the tent, everybody. <laughs> We're back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations. We're on episode four today, and there are eight bakers left. <laughs> we were watching British Bake Off beforehand. Could yeah, you tell? Anyhow, well, if they've seen it. Okay, if you haven't it. seen it, get on Go that. Get it's on an that. amazing show. Mary Berry's it, delightful, it's... and Paul's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that basically sums up everyone's reactions. It's basically a competitive cooking show, but people aren't super competitive, and yeah. it's low key. It's pretty it's drama like, free. It's just, it's yeah. just a good time. Yeah, anyhow, and, and they help each other out. Oh, it's so anyhow, fun. going yeah. off of Great British Break Off, we're <laughs> continuing to turn about memories. Turn Ron about Dahlia's memories. second testimony because we took uh, Phoebe, like thirty four minutes to do also, one. Also, how did she get those time. butterflies to just perfectly fly like that? Uh, uh. <laughs> I don't know. Miss Hawthorne, previously in your testimony, you said the following. Actually, I didn't see the moment he pushed up. I know. I'm sorry. I wanted to protect Feeny. So that's why you basically lied to the court? I was a bad girl. I know. Um, Mr. Judge? Y yes? Would you please, please forgive little old me? Of course, perjury's not a- Of course he won't! What you did is called perjury! Oh, come now. It was just a little old white lie. We'll forget it this time, but please be more careful from now on, alright? Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Judge. Not at all. Ho ho ho. Judge had better be more careful himself. A dark alley is friendlier than that girl. <laughs> at least they mentioned perjury. He's like, it's fine. <laughs> it's not a deal. No, everyone lies in this game and nobody gets charged for perjury. Apparently. Except April May. She was literally the only... Actually, yeah. no, she got charged just for the wiretap. Yeah, just for the wiretap, <laughs> so, and they're like, Never mind. Oh. Spoiler alert a... from the previous game. Oh, nobody's gonna watch this I game unless they play Okay, I assume us. when you watch a, an Ace Attorney Let's Play by us that you've seen the or played games. all of the previous games. Yeah. <sighs> Especially since they build off of each other. You're yep. saying you actually saw the victim get pushed into the electrical pole? I know he doesn't look it, but Feeny can be a bit of an imp when he wants to be. Oh, really? <laughs> a bit of an imp. <laughs> but I never imagined that he would cause an electrical cable to break. Feeny really is scary when he gets mad. Yes, he sounds like a very dangerous individual indeed. Wow! Dangerous! Ooh, thug Phoenix! <laughs> what, the, the two words I think of when I see Phoenix Wright in this case are danger zone. For oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> Wearing a pink hoodie. Sweater with the letter P Dougie on Dougie tried his best to run away. Can she, like, cry on command? So let me get this straight. You were happily listening to music on your headphones while you watched this scene unfold? What?! Miss Faye, I'll have you asked to stop badgering the witness. Um, I wasn't happy. I was so scared I couldn't even move. All I could do was stand there and cheer them on. Cheer them on? <laughs> go, cheer go. them on? What do you mean by that? <laughs> she was a cheerleader. Go, go, she had the pop ups and everything. Go. Well, I wish the best for them both and that they would each give the fight their all. Um, you're fighting <laughs> next to an electrical pole. I'd be like, hey, wait a minute. She's cheering them on! Woohoo! Go for it! These are two people that they, she's dated. <laughs> That's weird. That's super weird. Sad if there were if there were chance. if there were two people that I had dated and then they happened to see each other later, I'd be like, oh, that's awkward. And then if they were fighting, I'd be like, stop! Especially since they probably like probably their only connection would be like, oh, this girl, we both dated her, okay. Actually, they both played Smash Bros. together, and oh. one person used K rules. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. It was really good. And they had the gust bellows turned on, and yeah. Oh my gosh. Smash Ultimate's so good. Hmm, huh, that's very sweet of you to be so supportive. And what happened after that? Is Man, that these, sweet? these people are idiots. The Phoebe caught up and crashed into him from behind. Uh huh. That doesn't sound quite right. There were handprints found on the chest of the victim's leather jacket. Mr. Payne, were there also prints found on the back of his leather jacket? Well, well um, no, there weren't. Madam Fay, may I suggest that you listen a little more carefully? 
I said that he crashed into him from behind, right? My Phoebe wouldn't leave any prints behind in that case, would he? Um... I know that's supposed to be an odd, but I was like, oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> All happen. If you crash into someone, chances are you would- yeah, at least some prints are on there, maybe. Did you actually witness the moment the victim was electrocuted? I'm sorry. I didn't actually see it. Can this girl seriously cry on command? Like, There are I don't, people like that. I don't know how to- Well, that's how, that's people how can you... fake cry on command, but like with actual tears coming People out. can cry on command. I know a few people like that. She's actually that's doing how... the doofenshmirtz routine. She has like the eyedropper. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I- I turned my eyes away. I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> That's understandable! Yes, indeed. It would have been a horrific sight for anyone to behold. I don't figure out the contradiction here. It's all over. She didn't have much time to come up with her lies, so this is my best chance. There must be a hole in her testimony somewhere. Think, Mia. There's absolutely holes in her testimony. Feeney pushed him twice. First, First time was the electrical, electrical pole. pole. He tried to run away. He and then up crashed, and crashed from behind. behind. And then the cable snapped, and Dougie being electrocuted, it all occurred in less than a minute. Um, I want to take a look at, yeah, I want to take okay. a look at some of this stuff. So, the so death was, was a caused fatal, at 3 p.m. Fatal electric shock. Here's the problem. We always break up these episodes in spurts, and so then I'm yeah. like, what's happening? The so, old power cable broke due to some sort of impact at 2.55. 2.55 p.m. And if that were the case, it would have been more than a minute. That's because, true. Because, um, if it said he died at 3 p.m., and when the cable snapped and Dougie being electrocuted, it all occurred in less than a minute. It was, be it was five minutes between. Yeah. Is that it? I actually don't remember. Okay. We can try it, though. Oh, that was it. Nice Yay! job, Marty. That's enough, witness. I'm afraid I don't understand. You will in a minute. Could you please take a look at this picture? That's not what we presented. <laughs> oh, that medicine. That's the one Feeny likes to take for his cold. It's not the medicine I want you to look at. It's the wristwatch. It stopped at the precise time the victim was electrocuted. In other words, 3.05 p.m. Ten minute difference, actually. Yes, and your point is, Miss Fay? My point is this! What time was it when the lab suffered from that power outage due to the cable snapping? Well, according to the student's testimony, the answer is clear. It was 2.55 p.m. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Would you care to explain to the court, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne? What exactly happened during this ten minute interval? The defense proposes that it was during this interval that the real murderer killed Mr. Doug Swallow. Oh, that music. Oh, order! Order in the court! What's this all- uh, This is nonsense! The real murderer! Even you can't deny that the time between the cable breaking and the electrocution are completely unaccounted for! Th then who was it? Who else are you saying could have done it? She's like, <laughs> well, let me tell you. There's only one person who could have murdered Mr. Swallow. Only after my client had left the scene, was there a window of opportunity for the real killer? Miss Fay, is the defense ready to indict someone as this real killer? Yeah. It's finally time. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Yes, Your Honor, we are ready. Very well. Who's this we? But remember, uh, the royal we. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but remember, if you accuse the wrong person, you will be penalized. Oh, no! Think very carefully before you well, speak, Miss Fay. We have a full line of penalty. We're good. <laughs> now then, Miss Fay, let's have it. Who is the real killer? The coldness! <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, but... Wait, I didn't say... I didn't... I messed up the controls. <laughs> I'm sorry. Attorney's badge, clearly. Um, what's that supposed to be? Uh, um... A, a bout of youthful indiscretion, Your Honor. Maybe so, but I still have to penalize you. Okay, well, we got penalized. Ugh, no way, I won't let it end like this. Alright, this time I expect you to think a bit more carefully. I'm sorry, I pushed the wrong button because I forgot which one was which. Okay, profiles. <laughs> Grossberg Payne, Who do you think Phoenix is Wright, the victim himself, <laughs> or the girlfriend. <laughs> Who do you think? 
I mean, I know. It's Dahlia. I almost <laughs> presented it again. It could only have been you. Dahlia Hawthorne! What? How? How, how can you? The, the defense is grasping at straws! Ten minutes passed between the time the cable broke and the time of the electrocution. What exactly were you doing that whole time, Miss Hawthorne? Were you really listening to some music while cheering both of them on as they fought? I find it hard to believe that you didn't lift a figure to stop- uh, Figure? <laughs> lift a figure! Lift a finger to stop the man dearest to you. That kind of makes sense. Like, seriously. Yeah. Order! Order! Miss Faye! But, well, I, I mean, why? That is to say... Miss Hawthorne, I believe what you did... I believe you witnessed the two men fighting on that day. However, after Mr. Wright pushed the victim and subsequently left the scene, it was you who pushed Mr. Swallow to his death by your very own hands. Ah! How can you say something so mean, Madam Fay? I, I didn't do anything. Miss Fay, this is a very serious charge you are. Hi, bud. What's up? Your Honor, but please, I have something I want to say. Not you. You. you what, what is it? Please. Please strike everything the defense said just now from the record. What? What the? Are you daft? You're totally wrong, Miss Fay. Dolly, she... She couldn't do something like that. Maybe she did and you just didn't see it, bub. What if she kills you tonight? Mr. Wright, get back in your seat. <laughs> no! Bailiff, grab that man. Ah! That's you! That's you! Leave my dolly alone! That's you! <laughs> wow. Uh, that boy. Oh, he's you got knew? himself way over his Wasn't head. Wasn't he like, that boy? Oh, Mr. Grossberg, you're back. It seems I've arrived just in the nick of time. You don't even know what uh, happened. Uh, I found the police report in that, on that incident in your newspaper clipping. Woo! Police Woo! report and the court record. Read it. Thank you so much. This is exactly what I was hoping for. You better take a good look at it. It, er, uh, details how you came to lose your boyfriend. Now then, the defense has made a very serious accusation. You wanted to read it? Yeah, please. Police report. I will read. A report Touch. on the incident eight months ago. Okay, I will read it aloud. Uh, never mind, I won't read it aloud. <laughs> um, so some guy named Diego, uh, go Diego go, uh, <laughs> got, got, he was killed, and, um, he was a lawyer, and the suspect was most certainly Phoenix Wright's girlfriend, who was 18, 19. She was 19 minute. at the time. Wait a minute. This was six months ago. Does this mean... This was eight months ago. Six Wait, so months this was ago. The... I thought it was eight. Anyway. Um, pretty sure it was District six. Courthouse Cafeteria. So somehow this gal was just like, la di da di da di da and then somehow got suspicious. <laughs> yes, that this. is exactly what he did. He's like 11 years... No. He's nine years older than her. Okay, next page. Details. Uh, Armando in ingested... Uh, I think that's Diego. Uh, Diego, <laughs> go Diego, go, uh, ingested poison while interviewing the suspect regarding another case. And then traces of poison were found in the victim's coffee cup. Oh, a classic murder. Uh, no poison was found in the vicinity or on the suspect's person. It is unclear how the poison entered the victim's coffee cup. Okay. So yeah, Diego Armando, Dora's cousin. Clearly yep. there's only oh! one Diego in the world. Yeah! <laughs> yeah I, I watched that show a lot when I was a kid. Okay. Mr. Payne, what do you have to say about this? Well, really, Your Honor, I, I, that is, I... May I interrupt you for just a moment, Mr. Prosecutor? Ah, don't you worry, my dear. I have this situation well in hand. <laughs> uh, that is, I, um, go, go right ahead. Madam Fay, are you seriously accusing me of killing my sweet doggy? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I love how blunt that was. Not only am I saying you murdered Doug Swallow, but you also tried to pin the whole thing on your current lover, Phoenix Wright. I told you that you should let me handle this. <laughs> uh, sorry, but please, go ahead. How can you say that? I'm absolutely devoted to dear Phoenix. The notion that I would try to frame him is ludicrous. This is all just too much for poor little me to bear. Oh, uh, I believe this girl is trying to ask what on earth her motive would be. Well, let's see. 
Maybe. The answer to that lies somewhere <laughs> in this police report. It must. Eight months ago- Oh, you're right! You're right. Eight months ago, an incident occurring occurred in the basement cafeteria of this building. And then... <laughs> I thought I was gonna do the earthquake. Same like, day, the two of them accidentally met. 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 I, mean, I said she... meant, you know. <laughs> they accidentally meant to meet. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, the defense requests further testimony from Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. F further testimony? What about? About the events of the day when she first met the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> no, you don't need that! <laughs> what could that possibly have to do with this case? Objection! The witness claims that she has no reason to frame the defendant, am I correct? Well, I have evidence that suggests that she, in fact, has a very good reason. Very well, then. The court grants the defense's request. Young lady, would you mind staying on for just a little bit longer? Of course not, Mr. Judge. Get ready for the battle of your life, Dahlia Hawthorne. Dang, Mia taking no crap from nobody. No! she She's great. <laughs> Witness testimony, how, how I, I met, met my Feeny. <laughs> I never got that reference until just now. Oh, <laughs> That's gosh. amazing. I first met my darling Feeny eight months ago. It's like we were destined to meet in this theory courthouse's basement reading room. Mmm! In the basement! Smooch, oh! smooch, 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 smooch. <laughs> the moment our eyes met, my heart skipped a beat. Oh, is that it? Oh. We've been going out ever since that fateful day. Um... We're so lovey wovey, we literally make people sick! It's just jealousy, I think. Wow. Wait, is that a part of the testimony? <laughs> Mr. Wright, do that again and you will be held in contempt of court. <laughs> and now we enter the final act of our little drama. As we used to say in the days of my youth, go get her. Uh, I don't think that... <laughs> Squidward, I don't think that really applies to this situation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. We're we still good. have some time left. Okay. How I Met My Feeny. Okay. Also, how about that cross-examination music? Oh yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, presser, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> so, until that time, you had been dating Doug Swallow? Yes, I'm a real fool, I know. Letting my emotions change so quickly, I'm ashamed of myself. Good, you yeah, should be. You should be. Because, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know that weird comic where it was like, here's Hermione in, like, the movies, here's her yeah. in the books, where it's like, oh, boy! <laughs> That's basically yeah. what she wants. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Look at me! I'm infamous for changing my mind! <laughs> yes, you are. My critics have even taken to calling me Judge Fickle. <laughs> you should not be a judge. Maybe you should look for a different line of work. Despite that, however, he always, always hands down the correct verdict. That's why some people also call him the Great Judgini. Judgini? Yeah, that Rolls off the tongue, <laughs> don't you know? I am the genie of the courtroom. <laughs> 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 we met in the courtroom's very reading room. Courthouse reading room? That's a strange place to meet the love of your life. That's not true, Madame Fay. After all, Feeny was... Feeny was not only an art student, but he was also planning on becoming a lawyer. I feel like those... They're... You can't do art and lawyer! Those are two completely different, different things! things. Uh, I'm joking, of course. I, that just requires a lot of school. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you, Miss Hawthorne. What was a literature student like you doing in the courthouse reading room? In the middle of the summer, when there was no school? <laughs> this line of questioning is a waste of time! It has nothing to do with our murder case! Miss Faye, I'm warning you, if this has nothing to do with Mr. Swallow's case... I have to remember the judge is on Dahlia's side. I'd better tread carefully. Wait and see, keep pressing. Keep pressing! That's important. <laughs> Your Honor, if you'll allow me some latitude, I think I can establish relevance. Please ask her to continue on with her testimony. Very well. Young lady, I've got a simple question for you. What were you doing downstairs in the courthouse reading room? Reading! <laughs> <laughs> There's this great show on PBS called Reading Rainbow. I got super into it when I was a kid. If it pleases Your Honor, the answer is simply this. I had come to this courtroom to do some research for a paper I was writing. Bo! <laughs> You were writing a paper on what? On the relationship between modern semi poetry and the criminal underworld. That's a very weird. <laughs> oh, 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 that sounds like a fascinating research so idea. So naturally, if you want to research, you go to a courtroom, not the library. Absolutely not. Am I getting old? Now I've even forgotten what I've forgotten. On 
again with the midlife crisis stuff. Mia, why did that girl really come to this courthouse? Isn't that what you wanted to know? And speaking of forgetting things, you haven't forgotten the police report, have you? I went through a lot of trouble to get it, my dear, so be sure to read it carefully. Well, don't worry, I know what happened. The moment I was, our, I, my eyes met, oh yeah. <laughs> First I was afraid, I was petrified. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, so what was it about Mr. Phoenix Wright that made your heart malfunction like that? <laughs> <laughs> because it definitely malfunctioned. In my personal opinion, he just looks like a typical snot-nosed college brat. Wow, Mia! <laughs> Jeez! Well, he, she works with you eventually, so you Still, good. rude, rude, rude. Perhaps to a woman your age, but to me, Feeney is handsome. Perhaps to you, Miss Hawthorne. But the rest of the planet, he is a dime a dozen. Mia! Jeez! <laughs> I've never pressed this before, because I'm just like, CONTRADICTION! <laughs> wow! Objection! Why does a mysterious fan and I object to this line of questioning? If you were to look at my wife, for example, you might all be shocked. What? She's pretty? He's telling the truth. It was truly, truly shocking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with Sid Payne's got the super hot wife. <laughs> he's like 50, has like the fake hair, and he's like, <laughs> okay. He strikes me as the weird dude who would like go fishing on his like days off. <laughs> fishing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Two, okay, in his defense, though, Winston Payne is, like, one of, like, two prosecutors in the game that's actually, like, a legit, normal, uncorrupt prosecutor. That's true! And you know so, what? I can respect that! Yeah! So, hey, hats off to him. Beautiful mushroom, growing tall in the darkness, it comes from cow dung. That's the poem that best describes how I feel about my theme. Uh-huh. About cow dung. <laughs> <laughs> going out ever since that I feel like that's the, the biggest backhanded compliment <laughs> yeah. in the world. Were there any bad feelings between you and Mr. Swallow? No, none at all. We parted on that ther on very good terms. But that can't be! Our investigation also shows that it was a clean breakup. Huh, are you- are you sure? Yes, it seems that they both wanted it that way. So the victim wanted to break up with her. Press for her back off. He's like, I just figured out this girl's a psychopath. <laughs> How to pay it back Ow, I can't help you out. I work for senior psychopath now. Press further. <laughs> so you're saying that Mr. Swallow also wanted to break up with you? Well, you see. What a cruel thing to ask a lovely young lady like this. By the way, I have never once considered leaving my wife. No one cares, Mr. Payne. <laughs> You're fine, shut up! She didn't deny it. That must mean... Doug Swallow must have seen through her little act. He must have gotten a glimpse of her true nature. Listen to me, Mia. That woman has the judge in the palm of her hand, you see. Well, okay. Here's the thing. I bet I know exactly what happened. I mean, it's pretty easy to see. She was the one who murdered the dude. Like, pretty simple. Or at least was suspected of murder. Maybe she didn't murder him. But her boyfriend, Doug, was like, suspected of murder. Yeah, That's not yeah. great. I'll just... Yeah, I'm not like, really feeling it. Well, and then she's like, oh, I found this perfect guy. And he's like, oh, that's fine. I was going to break up with you anyway. We're, we're cool. And she's like, we're cool. And then, you know. <laughs> what kind of a girl goes up to their boyfriend and is like, I met a guy? <laughs> I don't know. But her, apparently. She's like, how else do you break it to someone? You're, you're not just like, I mean, you can just walk up to someone and be like, I'm breaking up with you. You walk but... up to them and be like, yeah, so I was thinking today if I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you, and then I was like, yeah! That is not how you break up with you. <laughs> So the only way to discredit her is to find a contradiction in the testimony. So wow. you, you saw it immediately. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. I was uh -huh. writing! Oh! You definitely weren't under suspicion of murder. murder. <laughs> 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 Hawthorne, you weren't here because of your research paper, were you? Didn't you actually come here for a much more important reason? What? What is the meaning of that cocky smile on your face, Miss Faye? Eight months ago, right here in this very courthouse, there was another tragedy. Another tragedy? Do you mean the incident in which an attorney was poisoned? The name of the suspect in that incident is listed here in this purport. And that name is Dahlia Hawthorne. What? The Dahlia Hawthorne? Yes, the sweet.
sweetie pie of everyone's eyes, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. She was the pr prime suspect in a criminal case just eight months ago. Ooh, yeah. The p, -p prime p, p p prime yeah. Order, order, order. Th this is unbelievable. It's true, then. The loveliest rose can hide the cruelest... Miss Fane, th that's not fair! You can't slander my witness with an unrelated case! Um... I, Winston Payne, will not allow it! Mr. Prosecutor, I believe I was speaking. Uh, pardon me. Go right ahead. It's true that about eight months ago, the police expressed some interest in me. Hmm. Expressed some interest, huh? Mr. Judge, sir, I know I'm under oath, so I'll tell you the absolute truth. Uh, sure! Um, that's not special, Dahlia. That's not, literally expected. I did not commit the crime that occurred during that incident eight months ago. Well, that could be. She could have been around and they were like, hmm, so this weird girl who came in with butterflies surrounding her <laughs> was there when this guy got poisoned, so maybe. And I mean, the last time there was a guy in a wheelchair who had birds around him, he was also guilty, yeah. so, you know. That's also part of why I was like, this girl. I see. Okay, I tied the two crimes together. Now I just gotta stay on the offensive. Well done, Mia. Oh, you've really lit a fire in my heart and my buttocks. I don't really I want to I can hardly about... tell which is more inflamed, my spirit or my hemorrhoids. Rosewood, could you please just shut up about your butt? <laughs> please? <laughs> yes, please. Witness testimony. The, the poisoning. Le poisson. <laughs> I met the lawyer who was poisoned to discuss something in the cafeteria that day. I left my seat for just a moment, and that's when it happened. And what I heard, it was a liquid poisoning that's lethal to just two teaspoons? Yeah. Wow! Okay. Is it lethal or lethal? Lethal. Lethal. Okay, I was right. It's like lethal weapon. Yeah, okay. Not only that, I heard it was a very special kind of poison. So you can see, I'm innocent! I wouldn't even know where to get a poison like that. <laughs> <laughs> but you knew these pharmacology students, and, and you got butterflies. And they specialize in poison, right? No, <laughs> but I don't know. Hmm, so that's what happened here eight months ago. There's occasionally cases where, like, the person's like, I would never do anything like this, and it's like, secretly, I've been involved with the mafia, and I've had <laughs> access to poison for three years, and I've savored this moment. You know, there's, like, the weird psychopath. This is, a, like, a terrible misunderstanding. I would never, ever make more than one. <laughs> <laughs> However, as you heard from the Mrs. Witness's testimony, she had nothing to do with it. I think the defense is just about out of tricks. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Payne. But I'm afraid the defense has many more tricks up its sleeve today. And I'll be sure to show them to you before the end of this cross-examination! Yeah! What the- Why does the defense suddenly feel stronger? Aha, Mia, you're glowing with a true lawyer's aura, my dear. That proud posture and self-confidence, absolutely smashing. Actually, I'm slouching right now. So, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, folks, I think that's where we're going to end the episode for today. Because I think we'll be able to finish it in the next episode, actually. Because okay. if memory serves, this is either her last testimony or her second last testimony. So. Okay. Look forward Goodbye. to next time, everybody. This has a great end. Uh, the first case has a great end to it. I hope and so. it gets better. The, the game gets better uh, from game here on always out. gets better after the first case. I mean, first case in this is pretty good, I would it's say. It's better all all. than all the other ones I've seen so far. Definitely. Anyhow, look forward to next time, everyone. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.